It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Cumbrian Ales from the Lake District and it's the Langdale at 4% ABV. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass, see what we get. We've got a green bottle cap on this one. I've not reviewed something traditional for a long time. I'm actually really looking forward to this. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Sometimes there's nothing better than a a good session ale at around 4% ABV. Certain times of the day kind of are good for certain ABVs if you know what I mean. I mean at the end of the night I might be drinking an Imperial Stout or a double IPA but at say 12 o'clock lunchtime or in this case 20 to 11 in the morning a nice 4.4% ABV beer is, is absolutely fantastic it's exactly what I want. I'd like to say a massive thank you to Lindsay and Mike who have put we love the channel you have a good understanding of beers you are funny but you're honestly on your life is uh refreshing hope these ales will be the same thank you Lindsay and Mike for the beer good clarity on it nice it's nice and clear there's a little bit of sediment I, I think it's definitely a probably a unfiltered beer we've got a one finger white head with good levels of carbonation amber in the color aroma yeah it's exactly what I was kind of expecting it to, to the aroma to smell like It's a little bit grassy. You get, you definitely get the malt. You definitely get the grains coming through. A little bit of sweet malt. It smells very refreshing. A little bit of citrus aromas coming through. More of a lemon or a lime. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. crisp. I think that is the best way to describe an ale like this. One of those light amber coloured ales, 4%. Session beer, session beer, but, but English, British session beer. It's very crisp, it's very, very drinkable. I'm actually very excited by this. As I say, I've, I've drunk an abundance recently of New England IPAs and Imperial Stouts and Stouts and Marshmallow Stouts and Ghost Pepper Stouts and all of these weird and wonderful, wonderful beers. But sometimes it's just nice to grab something like this, something crisp and golden and refreshing. It's just the ticket. It's a really old fashioned saying, but it's just the ticket. Clean, crisp, refreshing, very drinkable. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. I can see it's it won some awards, this beer. I, I believe it, it says, um, a winner of many awards in 2012, the cask version of Langdale was awarded silver in the camera champion golden ale of Britain. I mean, I can see why. I really can see why. It's just, it's just lovely. I can picture this. I've never, I don't think I've ever, well, I, I've not been to Cumbria. I'd love to go to the Lake District one day, have a look around there. But I can just imagine finding a, a district pub, sunny day, nice crisp ale. And maybe then back on your walk. This is exactly, exactly why this beer has been brewed for that very reason. Maybe I should spend a bit more time discovering these wonderful light ABV 
traditional British ales. I mean, it's it's great. I love reviewing the Nipahs in the cans and, and the Session IPAs and the IPAs and all the new stuff coming out in the supermarkets. And But it's almost like, it, in my world, and I mean this with the greatest of respects, in my world, it's almost as if ales like this have been completely forgotten. And it's wrong. It's wrong of me to, to ignore this style of ale because I'm drinking this and I'm drinking this really excited. I'm really excited by this beer. It's just because it's been such a long time. And this is the thing with beer. There's such a massive variation of styles. Massive vari variation of styles. Let's talk about the balance of the beer. Lovely crisp golden malts to begin with, like cracker bread flavours. Goes on to a nice bitter finish on the back end. I'm not really talking about the bitterness that much, but there's a lovely, a lovely bitterness coming through from this beer. I would say maybe some Cascade used, and then maybe a, 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 maybe a few traditional British hops used. You can you can definitely get that bittering hop on the back of the palate, which is lovely, lovely. Let's read the rest of the description and then we'll give it a rating. A lovely golden best bitter from the Lake District with amazing aromas and flavours of English fruit and marmalade brewed with crystal, maris otter and lager malts together with a delicate mix of bittering and aroma hops. Lowe's Water Gold, Cumbrian Ales, The Old Hall Brewery, Hawkshead, Ambleside, The Lake District. It's almost as if I've stepped back into 2010, 2011, 2012, the first three years of reviewing beer on YouTube. I spent a lot of time, a lot of time reviewing these kind of brown bottled ales from, from, from quirky places. And I've always enjoyed them. I've always enjoyed them. It was the reason the channel started in the first place. Yes, of course, I think your palate develops and you go on crazy adventures around the world as we have done here on the channel. But it's lovely, it's lovely to come back to my roots here and drink such a refreshing, lovely session golden ale. I'm going to rate it. I really, really like that beer. I really like it. It's got all the qualities of a, an all day session beer. I love an all day session. Great carbonation, great balance to the beer between the sweetness of the malts and the, the bitterness of the hops on the back end. An all round cracking beer, nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Many thanks again to Lindsay and Mike for sending us the beer. Stone the Crows, give us a big fat thumbs up. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you will. Boom, stone the crow. See you again. Cheers.